Good morning to all. This is Dr. S.G. Himlin Rose, Assistant Professor, Department of ECR and Engineering College. Today we can discuss about the spatial diversity concepts and the spatial multiplexing concepts in wireless communication. So first and foremost, we can what is the difference between spatial multiplexing and spatial diversity? So first is MIMOBIL diversity. So in spatial multiplexing, in spatial multiplexing, is a technique in MIMO that boosts data right by sending the data payload, that is the data, in different or uh, separate streams, so spatially separated antennas. But in spatial diversity, uh, it is a, a, a signal fading detection technique. It sends uh, multiple copies of the same radio signal through multiple antennas. So that is the difference between, so same as per the illustrated in the diagram, the same copies will be transmitted uh, and, rece and received through multiple antennas. In the here, the same data is divided into several streams and spatially se by separate, spatially separated antennas and transmitted. So this is the difference between the spatial diversity and the spatial multiplexing. So what is spatial multiplexing? It is a multiplexing technique using uh, multiple antenna elements of the transmitter for transmission of parallel data streams and in the receiver. receiver uh, for receiving the data streams. So the channel messes up this data stream so that each of the receiving antenna elements is a combination of them. So first, if the channel is well behaved, the received signals represent linearly independent condition. So we can uh, describe the principle of uh, spatial multiplexing by using this diagram. Uh, so when the transmitter knows the channel, we can develop another situation with the, without any case we can have to uh, represent the data. So from the description, uh, important principle is the number of first the data streams cannot be larger than the number of transmitted elements, even though it is first separated as serial to parallel converter. So NT transmitting antenna elements, we can form NT different beams. So in the if encoding process step, it is going to use space time layer uh, encoding and decoding. Uh, so in the receiving side decoding, the transmitter side encoding. So mainly it is going to use V blast as well as uh, uh, D blast structure. And then each uh, encoded data bits will be upconverted and transmitted to NT number of transmitting antennas. And the receiver, we have NR number of antenna elements to form NR beams and also point them to different uh, antennas. And it will be again upconverted. And in the receiving side, we are going to use space time processing and decoding. So the decoding, it is just opposite of the encoding and uh, each data is now so have to transmit as a single data. So it will be converted, it will be uh, parallel, given to parallel to serial converter and then it will be transmitted. So, but it is very important to notice that the number of input outputs will be having an upper limit. If the two data streams are transmitted in the same input output, then the receiver has no possibility of sorting them out by giving, forming different pips. So layered space-time codes are used. So mainly the preferred one is vertical blast or B-blast. So this is the commonly used encoding technique as well as patch blast. So this is, actually, this is the second type of technique. And the third one is the D-blast, which is always preferred in spatial multiplexing a layer coding as uh, this is a separate topic, so we can't, don't want to discuss much in here. So if you have NR number of transmitting antenna elements and NR number of receiving antenna elements, the data uh, data rate is increased by a factor of minimum of NT comma NR. So in the previous all the structures and the diverse techniques, it is nothing but it is the product of NT into a NR. Now we have increased the data rate or the capacity by the minimum value of NTR. And not okay. So this is how the principle is explained. The number of possible data elements will be limited by n t comma n r comma n s the number of significant input outputs. The number of data streams cannot be larger than the number of transmitting antenna elements. Similarly, the number of receiving antenna elements cannot be smaller than the number of data streams. If two data streams are transmitted to the same I O, then the receiver has no possibility of sorting them. So it's very uh, much important to focus on spatial multiplexing technique. Uh, and the, uh, the encoding technique as well as the decoding technique. Thank you.